I want to have these photos behind the authentication. This means we need a login page. But to create some pages, we need the navigation or the routing. So let's first use the React Router DOM library to create the routes. So I just search for React Router DOM and here we are. And you can see we have this React Router DOM website. Let's go on there. And we have this one like here and it's very easy to install. So let's copy that and create a new terminal, paste it. While this is installing, let's see what we need to do next. Basic routing is very easy. What you need, you need every page inside this route, you can say component and every component should be in switch but all these switch should be inside this router which is actually the browser router and its name is alias as router and we need to do all these things inside our app let's see everything one by one okay so we have installed that library now we can go simply to our app.js and here first I'm going to move this into its own component and I call this component as let's say gallery and then return this as a JSX. Okay. Now here inside this app, I told you I want to have first as router. So this is router, but we don't want to import directly the router we want to have the browser router. So I need to say browser router and I can alias it as a router. Okay, so we have that. Now inside, instead of using switch, but I, go, I want to show you how this route going to work. So we have this route as written in the documentation. In the children, we need to give the page we want to render or the component we want to render. So first I want to render the gallery. So we have this gallery component. I want to render it. But when I want to render, when the path is about, or in our case, let's say gallery. So path is equal to gallery, that is slash gallery, then this is going to work. Okay, so by doing this, let's see what we are having. So we have to import this route like this so we have imported that one also and now let's try it so we can go here refresh this page and here we can see we don't have anything what about if i say slash gallery that should be gallery with the e hmm so seems like routing is working but we don't have anything for our base url like home page okay no problem i'm going to create another function called home and this is just going to return returning a div and in this div i want to have a h1 tag which is just saying home or i can say welcome home like this okay so next i need to say like here create one more and this should be slash and instead of gallery i want home okay so this is good and you can see we have this welcome home okay so what we can do we can give this our friendly styles to make it at the center flex hide its screen and class of margin auto and yep add the center wow very nice and i can also give this text of 3xl so that it's look bigger okay then what what we need we need something else like uh, the login page okay so once again let's go and create the login page and we can go to the login and i can say login page 
and similar to this gallery we should have slash login and then login okay so we have bunch of routes with every route having the component okay so that's good and let's go to the slash login and still we are having this uh, welcome home why is that so let's go here and see how it is running first it's going to match this route and it says is there any slash after the base url that is localhost 3000 after localhost 3000 is there any slash and i say yes there is a slash you can see this is the slash and we also have the login this is something very weird we have a welcome page then we have a login page if i inspect this you can see we have a two things and if i search for the component you can see we have a route for home and route for login hmm seems like it's rendering both of the home and for the login as i told you it's going to match first for the slash and then for the login and both are matching so that's why we have both but i want to match it only once so that's why we need to use the switch so it's only going to switch between the routes and only rendering first one cool so let's once again go to the home page yep it is there if i go to the slash login still we have a welcome home but yeah we get rid of multiple component but still we are having the welcome home again let's see this react router dom check that is there any slash in the url after localhost 3000 yep we have this and because it is switching it's stopped just after this so that's why we just have a welcome home to solve this issue we can move this at the bottom and now if i refresh yes we have a login page if i go to base url yep it is there and also working for the gallery but you can see i think gallery is also not working why is that because uh, gallery so this should be e actually not yeah so gallery is also working but this is not the perfect way what we can do once again move it at the top we can give an simple prop which is called exact and exact to true so it is going to match exactly the same path we have given here now we can see it is working for gallery it is working for home page also working for login so this is how we can have the react router dom in our application and we have these uh, different different uh, component we can call them as a page